Okay. All right, y'all, what is up? What is up? I'm back with another mukbang. Today, I'm going to finally try Jollibee's chicken. Now, if y'all are in, I don't know if this, is this their first Michigan location? I don't know if this is their first Michigan location or, um, <clears throat> I, I'm not sure, but all I know is a post went viral not too long ago on Facebook talking about, oh, Jolly Bees is opening in Sterling Heights, which is not that far from me. So everybody around me was talking about it and I want to try it. So your girl got some. Okay. Oh my God. I just spilled. I'm going to all over my coat and my shirt, but I had a whole bunch of napkins. I really just spilled that all over my shirt. Can my hair cover it up? I think it can. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you guys, I got the two, it's like a meal that comes with basically two pieces of chicken and the Jolly Spaghetti. And then um, I also got, well, I'll just show you guys. So here is kind of what I got. It's the chicken and the spaghetti. Oh my god. That actually it actually smells really good. Um here, let me give you guys like a real good close up of this. Without spilling it. So, the spaghetti actually smells really good. Um I also got an extra side of the baked macaroni and cheese. Ooh, that smells so good. That smells so good. And then also, um, I guess I got a side of, is this mashed potatoes or is this just gravy? Oh, I think they just give you some gravy on the side. Hold on, I'll show you guys what it looks like real quick. Yeah, so I guess they just give you some gravy with it. So, let's see. The gravy is, ooh, oh my God. The gravy is really good. Um, Let me take a quick thumbnail. The gravy is so good. Like, I don't know if they dip the chicken in that. It tastes like you could dip the chicken in that. You could pour it on the mac and cheese. Oh my God, that gravy is good as hell. Before, oh, and I also got, you guys, I also got, the peach mango pie so i also got this let's see what it looks like Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be real good so i'll save that for the end <laughs> so corny so it's time to try what should i try first um i want to start easy so you know, like, I don't want to do too much. I mean, not easy. Like, I want to start off, like, less of a deal to, like, the biggest deal. Which, obviously, the spaghetti is, like, the biggest deal. So, I'm also just going to do a little bit on my phone. You know, I'm just going to do a little something on my phone as well. Let me see. Okay. So, first is... This little gravy I already showed y'all kind of what it looks like. Let me see. I already tried this. But that junk good as hell. It's thick. It tastes homemade. Like it tastes homemade. Like with the flour and the butter and all that. That's how that gravy tastes. Real good. Okay. You know what to try. Macaroni and cheese. Let me see. 
Damn, it's a little hard to break apart, but that's how I like it though. Mmm. Wait. I actually don't like that. The texture's really good in this. But it has a weird aftertaste. It has like a little weird aftertaste for me. Like, it almost tastes like it's too much. It don't sound right, but it almost tastes like it's too much butter. Which, like, usually it's not too much butter. But I don't know. I feel like it is a little bit right there. Okay. Let me just try let me just get into it. Let me try this chicken. All right, you guys. I'm about to just go in. Let me try the chicken first. Let me see. Mm. Ooh. Oh, my God. That chicken is good as hell. Mmm. That chicken good. It's so juicy. It's like very crispy but very juicy at the same time. Mmm. That's really good. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Let me try the spaghetti. Let me see. I'm scared. This song look like just because why? Oh, it has little. It has little hot dogs in it. Because <laughs> why would you, you know, I don't know, eat spaghetti from here. I guess let me mix it around a little bit. Okay, let me get a little piece of hot dog. And some noodles. Okay. Mmm. Um, that is so weird but I like it and it does taste sweet somebody said it had a little sweetness to it it does taste sweet and um this lets me realize how like people say they put sugar in their spaghetti I get it now because this is kind of good mmm <clears throat> that is actually really good the spaghetti it's hard to explain like it's not just straight sweetness like it's not as tomatoey though like when i think spaghetti like my spaghetti um it's not real garlicky but it has a little like garlic it has a little like tomato and then it do my spaghetti do be a little sweet not because sugar though but just because like the bell peppers and the onions that i use and i put sausage in mine so like it's good it's yeah i don't know it, it i don't know how to explain it like you can tell it's not really like homemade mm. i don't know it's not bad it's not like great either like you know what i mean like i don't have to have the spaghetti again but it's better than i expected i guess i would say let me try this piece of chicken. They chicken good as hell, though. Mm. It's so crispy. It's so tender. Mmm. 
when <clears throat> this will be so good with some hot sauce too it don't even need it because it's really flavorful but it would be good with hot sauce but um when i was a kid i swear i used to only eat the chicken skin <laughs> and then i got older and heard that's the most unhealthy part to eat God. God. <laughs> this is good though y'all i would definitely come back for the chicken the mashed potatoes and gravy even though i didn't get any mashed potatoes <clears throat> i should have got mashed potatoes instead of that macaroni and cheese i know the mashed potatoes gotta be good because that gravy or so good so i will for sure come back for the chicken the mashed potatoes and gravy i'm about to try this mango pie in a second y'all i'm gonna eat a little bit more of this spaghetti like i think it's better with the little hot dog piece <laughs> the little hot dog piece to give a better bite <laughs> Mm. yeah i don't know now that i ate more of the spaghetti it's, mm. it's not that good like it's not bad but it's not that good like i think my kids would like it a lot because <sighs> my kids love sweet stuff I'm like uh i don't know not bad not great <clears throat> but that chicken good as hell I'm not gonna lie though, I gotta stop. I ate pretty good. But I gotta stop because <clears throat> I don't know what time it is for y'all, but it's actually 10 in the morning while I'm filming this. And that's just a little bit heavy on my stomach. Um, and I'm getting kind of full. But I would rate that chicken. I would rate the chicken a good solid eight i'll rate the chicken a solid eight this gravy a nine that's whew, that gravy was good this mac and cheese y'all it looks really good it smells really good you could smell the sharp cheddar but whatever that little aftertaste is i don't like i would rate this about a five i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> Uh, I might even say this gravy and use this. That's real bad, big backish, but guess what? Guess what? Psycho! <laughs> big backs unite! <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try the peach man. Ooh. It looks good. Wow. Mmm. That's good as hell. Woo! This is what I really come back for. This tastes like... It's like the perfect crisp of like an apple pie mixed with a, like, a little flavor of like, y'all know that carnival food? That little like, that little taste you get with the carnival food. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it got a little carnival taste to it. And the peach and mango is good too. Yeah, that jelly good too. And I don't really eat a lot of jelly like that. Um... I don't really eat a lot of like fillings and stuff like that. Like if I was really eating this, I would probably scoop some of that out. But it's not bad. Ooh. I like that. Overall, I'll give Jolly Bees a solid 7.5. And I will for sure come back. I will come back. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to actually like squeeze some of that jelly out. Look, <laughs> it's really coming out. Oh, that's good. I'm not really a big fan of um, peach cobbler because I feel like it gets soggy so fast. But I do like it when it's fresh. And if you like peach cobbler, like fresh out the oven, you would like this. This would be good as hell with some ice cream. Mm. All right, y'all. That was it. Um, that was really good. I'm full. I usually don't eat this early, so I get full early. I mean, I get full easily, like early in the morning, like this. But that was pretty good. And this pink lemonade is really hitting. <laughs> it's just regular pink lemonade. I should have tried their. Um, I think she said they got like pineapple juice or pineapple lemonade or something. I should have tried that. Maybe I will next time. But overall, this was a successful trip. I'm glad I came. I'm glad I tried it. It was really good. If y'all are in the Sterling Heights area, try it. Try the spaghetti. <laughs> Come back and comment down below what you think about it. Comment down below. Do you like sugar in your spaghetti or not? Like sugar or no sugar? I think no. I think no. I think maybe I... I I feel like I had sugar in my taco meat before and that was decent. But I don't know about my spaghetti. I don't think so. But alright, thanks for watching you guys. Um, like, comment, share. Please support the channel. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!